In this video segment, I'm going to go through the process of creating a custom countertop and integrated sinks. You can see in the 3D view, also the plumbing below the countertop. I'm going to use a 3D molding polyline to generate the shape of that plumbing. And then I'm going to use this sink as an accessible sink in a, another video for creating an accessible bath. Let me go through the steps in creating this sink and you can follow along. I'm going to draw the new countertop and integrated sinks right next to the existing plan we were looking at in 3D. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the custom countertop. I'm going to come in here and just roughly draw out the shape of the countertop. If you're using the Premiere version, you can press the Tab key and get your dimensions set up. So they come in and then you can input an exact number. I'm going to just make it 8 foot by 2 foot. Now there's my custom countertop. I'm going to go ahead and set the thickness and the height of it. We'll double click, open it up, and I want to set the thickness of it to be 6 inches. And then for the height at the finished floor to top, I want it to be 33 inches and actually 7 eighths because I don't have a room in here. 7 eighths is my finished floor thickness. And that will make it 27 inches of clearance below the countertop. As I switch back over to the 3D view, you can see the new countertop. Now the next step that I like to do is I like to draw a series of lines that I can use as guidelines to help me in my drawing. So I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to just snap onto the corner over here and I'm going to drag out a line. Since my countertop is 8 foot in length, I'm going to create a line segment every 24 inches that I can use to snap to and make this an easy process. Highlight the line, use the multiple copy tool down here in the lower edit menu. And let's go ahead and set the interval to be every 24 inches right in this area right here. And then as I drag out a copy of this, we'll get a line every 24 inches. I'll select the main countertop, use the center tool down in the lower edit menu and center that exactly. Now the process to create the integrated sink component, I'm actually going to draw that in an elevation view. I'm going to use the back clipped elevation camera and I'm just going to come through here and draw about halfway through the countertop. If I toggle my camera to glass house view, you can see the shape that we're going to create for that integrated sink. I'm going to use the line tool and I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to drag out a line again. I'm going to press the tab key. I'm going to make this exactly four inches. And then on the top of this, we'll drag this out and I'm going to press the tab key and I'm going to make this exactly 16 inches. And then the final item is just to grab this over here and connect it. Now I've got the shape for the sink and I'm just going to pull it down and position it. I'm not going to center it, not, not going to worry too much about it. But you can see that it's slightly above the countertop. Now that I have the shape, let's go ahead and convert this into a polyline solid. You'll find this tool down here called Convert Polyline. And I'm going to choose that it's a polyline solid. It's going to ask me how thick I want this. I'll set that to 21 inches and then we'll go back into the plan view, position that and then the 3D view and then we'll do a subtract operation to subtract that from the countertop. Back into the plan view, I'm going to highlight the sink. I'm going to use the center tool and I'm going to snap onto the grid line that's 24 inches in and then I'm also going to use the copy and reflect about tool and flip another copy around the other side. In the 3D view, you can see the two components for the sink. Now that I have those, I'm going to do a subtract operation and I need to subtract like objects. Each of these objects, I'm going to actually convert it into a solid countertop, make it a solid, and the other sink and make it a solid. Now they're all three the same component. I'm going to grab the main countertop. Down in the lower edit menu, there is an operation for solid subtraction. I'll select the sink. And then again, the countertop is still selected. Use the subtraction tool and click and subtract that. Let's go into the elevation view and I want to add the plumbing that's underneath of the sink. And I've created this with a custom 3D molding polyline and I'll show you the process for that. You can see my 3D molding polyline is a shape and I've actually curved it to fit my plumbing. I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to create something approximately what this looks like. So we'll come down in this area, I'll come around, come back up, come over and then out and we'll see how close I got on this. So with this line, let's go ahead and select this bottom segment and I'm going to curve that segment and we'll just 
pull this diamond down so we can kind of create the shape that we're after and then we'll also curve this and again I'm just going to kind of create the shape there's also a make tangent tool that you can use to make it tangent smooth it out a little bit and then the final segment let's go ahead and pull this over into the sink and I'll curve this segment as well so once I have the shape in place I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna convert this into a 3d molding polyline in this case and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the profile of this by choosing the molding profile and the default is square. Let's replace that with something that is circular. And through the molding profiles, let's come down to our handrails. And I'm just going to select the round rail profile. For the dimension, let's set it to be one and a half inches in diameter. And we'll see how that looks in this view. Maybe a little bit thicker than the molding profile that I've created. And that's the process of creating that molding profile. Now let's return back to the plan view. You can see that molding line over here in the view. And I'll just use the center tool. Let's just draw a marquee around that. We'll use the center tool again on that guideline. And I'll create one more copy. And then I'll just slide that over and snap that into place. The two faucets that I have. We'll just go ahead and draw a marquee around those. Rather than browsing into the library, I'll just create a copy of those and pull those down. And if we go back to our 3D view, we should have something very close to the other sink component. Let's use our material eyedropper, pick up the stainless off of the faucet, and we'll apply it onto our plumbing fixture. Now the final step is to block this and add it into the library. Easiest way to do that is from your plan view. I'm going to draw a marquee around all of those components. Notice that it says I have five objects selected down in the very lower section of my menu down here. I'm going to go ahead and create a block, make architectural block, and then we'll add it to the library and then we'll give it a name. You can see the name above it, integrated countertop sink, and then once you add that into the library, you can use it and place it in your plan.